Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday and welcome to my December 2020 home fragrance empties. Um, we are going out with kind of a bang this year in terms of um, a monthly empties. Um, I want to say I feel like this is my biggest empties of the year, but I think October was also a pretty healthy empties from what I remember. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff to get through. And so I'm going to get through it pretty quickly today. Um, anything that is still available, I'll try to remember to link down below. Um, but yeah, there's, there's so much stuff. I wanted to start this video with just kind of some lessons that I learned in terms of my candle and home fragrance habits from this past year. Um, 2020 was definitely an interesting year. Um, I was home even more than I normally am. I do work from home. I own my own floral design business and um, we converted uh, a section of our three car garage into my like design studio. So um, I'm home a lot, but um, with everything that happened this year, I was home even more. And I think truly I went through more home fragrance this year than probably any other year before. Um, but my biggest takeaway from this year was definitely reevaluating my candle habits. I did my candle collection videos back in the spring. And that was a very eye-opening series for me to do because it showed me just how many candles I had. Um, and I was, it, I was definitely disappointed in myself afterwards um, when I was uploading those videos. And um, I think I just came to realize how much I had purchased and how difficult it was for me to get through everything in a timely manner. And especially with a lot of my like Bath and Body Works candles, um, they had lost so much of the fragrance oils over the years. Even So even when I tried to burn them, like they just they didn't smell like anything anymore. <laughs> now, luckily when I put them in my candle crocs, I definitely got some more life out of them. So I still feel like um, I got my money's worth, but at the same time, like it shouldn't be like that, right? Like I definitely had this aha moment of like, stop buying too much. Like I'm certainly not going to cut myself off completely when it comes to trying new fragrances this year. Um, or should I say in 21, but, uh, I am certainly going to pull back even a little bit more than I did this year with my spending on home fragrance. Um, it, uh, it was, it got to be very overwhelming for me <laughs> to store all of this stuff. And I'm looking at this unit right here. This, with the exception of one drawer, has just a ton of candles in it that I wasn't even able to get to. And then we have a hallway linen closet. And then I even have more candles still in our guest bedroom. Now, I've made a decent dent and I'm going to continue to whittle that down, um, especially with my Bath and Body Works candle collection. Um, with those, I, I would like to get through those as quickly as possible. I'm not writing Bath and Body Works off, but I think that they don't necessarily keep as well as some of my other candle brands. And so for me, I would rather just buy what I'm going to use that particular season with maybe one or two left over for the following year. But I don't want to have, for example, 25 vanilla balsam candles. I don't need that many. It now seems to be a fragrance that keeps coming back every single year. So it's silly for me to hoard it. Um, it's also silly for me to participate in things like Candle Day. I This was the first year that I didn't do it at all. I didn't order online. I didn't go in store. And that felt really, that felt great. Because here's the thing. With coupons and their all bite, not amazing sales, because let's face it, Bath & Body Works sales are not that great anymore. But usually with the sale combined with some kind of coupon, I can get the candles for like nine, eight, nine, ten dollars somewhere around there. And I mean, that's a decent price. And if I'm not needing to buy like 10, then, you know, I'm not spending a fortune 
want candles that I then have to store that eventually I can never get to and they lose their fragrance and I have to relegate them to a crock and yada yada yada. So anyway, that's my biggest lesson from this year and something that I would definitely pass along to all of you who are candle collectors like I am. I'm definitely not reformed yet. I will say this is def this is going to be a process. But I think reevaluating um, how much you spend on this stuff, um, just the volume that you bring in, I think is important. And if you're able to pull back just a little bit, that's going to allow you some money for other things. I mean, savings, vacation, home improvements. Lord knows we've done some home improvements this year. And I could have probably used <laughs> some of that Bath and Body Works candle money to purchase some more plants for the backyard, for example. We stuffed the backyard full of stuff, so it's gonna be fine. But you get what I mean. Like there's, you know, retirement. There's all sorts of things that you could be putting this money towards. And, you know, I am not gonna be the person that's gonna say, yeah, don't don't spend any money on home. That's, no. <laughs> I'm always gonna do that myself, but I think I'm, what I'm trying to say is just be more reasonable in your acquisition of smelly things. Um, this is going to be a year for me all around um, with trying to refrain from overdoing it. So refrain from overdoing it with skincare, hair care, makeup. Um, I've had a little bit of a habit of buying more furniture for this house. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where it's like, we have enough furniture in here. It took me a while to furnish this entire house because it was larger than our last one, but um, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into that. And um, yeah, anyway, it's gonna be a year of just pulling back a little bit in all areas, and I think it's gonna be really good. So join me, won't you? Or don't. I mean, do whatever makes you happy. Like if you if you don't mind it, then just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I don't judge. You guys, there's a lot. So I am literally going to grab. I'm not really gonna do scent descriptions. You guys have seen most of these things in my empties over the course of the year. I just wanna take you through everything I finished and if there were some things that I needed to give some final thoughts on, I wanna do that here. So um, I, I hope you guys can't hear the garage opening and closing. Stella keeps going in and out of the house through the garage and it drives me crazy because we go through so many of those garage door springs. They constantly break because we use that as our main entrance and it's silly. She has a key. <laughs> All right, Scentsy. Scentsy uh, Sugar Plum Berry. This was a leftover from last year. Finished one of these. The, brick, the bricks are huge, you guys. They're massive. I also finished the Snow Kiss Cranberry, which was really nice. This was new to me this year. Um, Homeworks uh, Deck the Halls. This was uh, one that I have never purchased, but it was part of the giveaway that Homeworks hosted on my Instagram several weeks ago. Um, you guys, I really like this one. It burned so well. Now there's a little bit of that like wax residue on the side. I'm sure you can see that, but there's no sooting. Um, it burned down to the wick clips and extinguished itself. There's not much wax left. This was a rock star. Um, I've never tried this scent before, but I really liked it. So that was definitely one update I wanted to give you guys. Um, now one that I expected more of because I really loved it on Cold Sniff, but it just didn't deliver is um, Holiday Wishes. I actually really like this scent, but I just, I couldn't smell it. The strength and the throw on this one were really low. Um, the strength and throw on this one were pretty solid for me. I would say about seven, seven and a half on this, maybe a three. Um, so that was a little disappointing, but the scent itself, I really liked a lot. So um, I would consider repurchasing this one if it comes back again next year, because like I said, this, the scent was amazing. This was a dud, Merry Cookie. It's terrible. I already talked about it in my um, weekly home fragrance roundup this past weekend. Finished the Scentworks Cranberry Balsam. Love it. I'll be repurchasing more of that one. Um, white Velvet Coconut. Kind of a surprise to me. It, it wasn't my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, but it was really nice. Um, I actually had thought about returning it. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I burned it. It burned well. I mean, you guys, look at this. This for Bath & Body Works is really good. <laughs> so every once in a while, they come through. Um, Silver Bells, Cranberry Garland. I, I am just randomly grabbing. So 
Um, vanilla balsam, you're gonna see a few of these. I love vanilla balsam. This one was from last year, I believe. Vanilla balsam from this year, delightful. Here was one that I did not expect to enjoy, but I actually did. Um, this was a duo. I have the other one right here. So these two came in a duo from Homeworks. Um, I didn't ever bother reviewing them because I think they were already sold out online by the time that I got around to burning them. Um, so this was Holiday Wreath. Holiday Wreath was a very fresh, outdoorsy tree type scent. They, I feel like there's a lot of like kind of minty type notes in this. Um, and I've actually come to enjoy mint a little bit more. The strength and throw were only about a six, but with this one, that, that was okay. I would not want this to be any stronger for me personally because it's just not my like normal go-to scent. And then Holiday and Cypress was more of that like hearth fireside type note. Um, I really actually enjoyed this one as well. The glass on these is beautiful. I'll definitely clean these up and keep them for floral arrangements probably for next holiday season. So um, this was an autumn that I actually burned the week of Christmas. Um, it got a little messy because I actually poured out some of the wax onto some um, pine cones that I had to use as fire starters in our fireplace outside. Um, like there literally wasn't much wax left. It was about to extinguish itself. And I was like, oh, I kind of want to pour that over my pine cones. So I did. Anyway, this was great. The autumn from this fall was wonderful. Burned really well. With Sale Wonderland, this one ended up in my Scentsy Club. I loved it that much. Um, holiday. Holiday. Um, smaller, larger. I love Nest Holiday. That's a go-to for me. You guys know that. Birchwood Pine, love it. These, however, had quite a bit of wax left in the bottom, but the wick clips um, didn't allow it to burn any longer. So there's that. Um, the Cranberry Pumpkin Cake, delightful. Now this one got really messy because I actually put this outside for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to finish burning. We spent most of the day outside. We have a, a really nice covered patio with a huge stone fireplace. So we kind of live out there year round. So this got pretty messy um, from just being outside and the wind and everything um, that would come through periodically. But I love this scent. I do have one more left. I'll save it for um, this fall. All right, Deck the Halls. No, not Deck the Halls. Season's Greetings just finished this yesterday. Bummed me out because it's my very last one. It was one of my favorites from Homeworks, but no more. Thankful from Bath and Body Works a few years ago. Thankful was chestnuts, chestnut and clove. Um, cranberry pumpkin. This was one of the ones that um, I had been saving forever because I love this scent. You can see it ended up in the candle crock. If you still don't know what a candle crock is, I'm gonna link a video down below. Make sure you watch that. That'll explain it to you. And I'll try to remember to put a link for a neutral candle crock um, in the description box as well. Um, Garland Berry, love this one from Homeworks. It's a classic. I think this was my last backup of it. I think, I don't know that I repurchased this one this year, but it's really nice. Love this one, it burned. I mean, this burned perfectly. It's all the way down to the wick clips. No soot, nothing like that. A good thrower, love it. Ooh, is this another holiday? Yep, another holiday. Um, Christmas Cottage, it was okay. Uh, gingerbread house. I, I liked it. It's not like a go-to for me. Gingerbread smells aren't always my favorite. Another Silver Bells. actually really enjoyed that one. One thing that I started enjoying this year that I hadn't for most of my life was like minty type scents in terms of home fragrance. So um, that Silver Bells was great for that. Red, berry, and spruce. Nice. Uh, jeweled pomegranate. Love this. This is now in my club. This, uh, this is delightful. Highly, highly recommend from Scentsy. Bring Back My Bar, Central Park Pralines. Uh, Bring Back My Bar is ending soon, so if you wanna try some of those, such as Sweet Plum Pastry, gotta get your order in soon. Apples and Oats, um, a huge favorite from this past fall that was released, and I, I have it in my club because I don't ever wanna be out of it. Oh, I'm pulling this huge thing over to me. All right, um, Otherland Fallen Fur, really, really enjoyed this one. This one was kind of one of those like hearth Christmas tree type scents. Um, I really like the Otherland candles, you guys. They are, they only have like one style. It's the, this, 
type of jar with a one wick. Um, they're not house filling candles, but they are definitely room and like adjacent space filling candles. Um, I'm really impressed with the strength and throw of those based on the size of the candle. I think that they include like a high concentration of fragrance oils for sure. Um, and I've really enjoyed a lot of their scents. They're a little bit more conceptual, um, but really nice. So um, what was this? Yuletide Glow. This was a finish it up from last year. Um, I, I had this one outside as well. You can tell my outside candles um, because they have the like blackness. These sit like next to our outdoor fireplace or right above it on the mantle. Um, and there's wind and all sorts of stuff. So these get pretty gross. Um, before I put this outside, I was burning it in my dining room and none of this stuff was happening. So um, yeah, burning candles outside, I don't know, probably seems really wasteful to some of you, but I have so many candles to get through. More thankful chestnut and clove. This was a finish it up from last year, um, vanilla spice and everything nice. I think I had burned this like once or twice and I think letting it sit for the year actually made it stronger because the first time that I tried this, I remember it being a little bit weaker. It definitely helped to actually store it for the year because it became stronger, as did Over the River and Through the Woods. This one's really nice. I hope this one comes back at some point. Um, Sugar Clove Fresh Bruce. Fresh Bruce, yeah, Fresh Fallen Spruce, there we go. Um, nutmeg and Vanilla Bean, very nice. Liked that a lot and definitely stronger this year. Um, this was such a major dud for me performance wise. Um, this is Mary Madeline Cookie. I did a video about this one. This went so wrong, so wrong. But I love the I love the fragrance. The, I love this cedar balsam from um, Bath, not Bath and Body Works, Trader Joe's. So good. In fact, I was gonna grab some more, but they were already completely sold out by the time that I went in to do like my last minute like holiday food shopping at Trader Joe's. So I'm sure that one will be back next year. And when it is, I know to just pick up several. Another gingerbread. Gingerbread hugs. Um, hot cider donut. I actually have one of these going downstairs right now. I love hot cider donut. That's kind of a year round one for me. Um, almond croissant, also in my club. Another would sale. Wonderland. Um, cookies for Santa. Nice, but mm, not quite as strong as I expected it to be. This one, um, I need to do a video about this company. This is actually a vendor company that reached out and it's He's called the Candle Daddy. <laughs> um, I feel like this scent was amazing and it smells a lot like one that I really love from Scentsy. So I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna talk about this candle coming up, in, not this candle, this company coming up in the new year. Uh, another Apples and Oats. Be Merry. Spice White Pumpkin, loved it. Homeworks. Um, let's go through these real quick. Um, I have all but, I finished all of them, but the French toast, which is currently burning downstairs. The French toast is very similar to hot cider donut. I actually have those two going together at the same time. Um, here's the thing about these TSV candles, and I have all of them here that I got through, which is all of them. Um, here's what I noticed. They weren't as strong as the usual, um, as the usual from Homeworks. Strength and Throw was more of like five versus what I'm used to with like the seven and eight range when it comes to Homeworks. That being said, I actually really enjoyed these scents a lot and I didn't expect to. Um, the burn on these was a lot messier than other Homeworks candles because normally you don't see a lot of residue. These had quite a bit of residue as they were burning down. Um, I can deal with that. I can just, you know, I need to clean these out anyway. What I really loved about this TSV was the style of these jars. I just really hope he keeps these around because these to me are even more beautiful than the hobnail and this kind of plaid design that he has as well here. Um, I hope he keeps this around. Um, he also did the like chevron. Where was that? Oh yeah, this guy here. 
this one came back again this year as well, but this is definitely my favorite. So for me, I think, I think they were a nice TSV. I think the price point was fair. Um, I think the shipping is always ridiculous from QVC. That 750 shipping kind of ruined it for me. But for the most part, I really enjoyed the scents. I think the only one that I didn't, let me show you the one that I didn't, and I think a lot of people felt the same way that I did, was the oatmeal cookie. Um, this smelled weird to me. Um, it didn't smell like an oatmeal cookie at all. Um, not even remotely. Now, some people said they smelled oatmeal cookie, which is weird to me because this had this weird... I don't even know how to explain this. It's oddly perfumey. It's not gourmand at all. I mean, I guess I can smell like a raisin type note, but this didn't even say like oatmeal raisin cookies. It just said oatmeal cookies. I mean, there's raisins in the description, but like it was just oddly perfumey. It was not what I wanted it to be. It wasn't what I expected it to be. But honestly, the rest of these were fantastic. I think the one I was most surprised by was this guy here, um, the Balsam White Birch. Love this. Loved this. This needs to just keep coming back and in this jar and I will happily buy it. So anyway, that's kind of my final update for those. We're getting to the end here, so I'm, I'm gonna try to like just go through here. Um, Marshmallow Fireside, always love that scent. Um, here's another Cranberry Pumpkin. This one did end up in the Candle Crock as well, as you can see. Um, Nest, Spiced Orange and Clove. I have said before that I have a feeling that Laura is discontinuing the scent. I really do think that she is. Um, I am tempted to definitely order some more of the Spiced Orange and Clove before it goes away forever, but then I'm also trying to just remember that there's probably other candles that either she or someone else will bring out that I will enjoy, so I do still have a couple backups. Um, but yeah, it, it would break my heart if she discontinued this one because I do really love these particulars, this particular scent so much. Um, I think I actually love it more than the holiday, um, and that's saying a lot. But you guys know my holy trinity from Nest is the birchwood pine, the holiday, and then the spice orange and clove. All three of those together were what we had going inside the house on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and it was absolute perfection. It just smelled like the most beautiful holiday. Um, evergreen and grapefruit, spiced grapefruit. I actually switched out spiced grapefruit from my club with Wasail Wonderland because I like the Wasail better. It's really nice. They're similar, but I think I like the Wasail Wonderland a little bit better. Finished up my last backup of my white birch. Mm, that was hard to finish. I, I did enjoy white birch. It wasn't my favorite tree scent from Harry, but um, it was a good one. Um, season's greetings <laughs> from last year. Um, love this one. It ugh, just it burned perfectly. Oh well. Um, that one's discontinued. Creamy nutmeg from several years ago in the candle crock. It went. Um, Blue Christmas, really like this one a lot. This was a scentsy one, I like that one. Um, Breakfast in Bed, really enjoyed that. Here's another jeweled pomegranate. Here's another Stroop Waffle Delight, and then another Spiced Grapefruit, and that's it for the scentsy. Um, Blue Cypress and Snow from Nest, enjoyable. A little messy, a little messier than what I normally get with my Nest candles, um, but it was a nice scent. I, if she thinks replacing this with this is acceptable, I would say reevaluate. <laughs> I think this is just hands down a better scent. Um, and this one was also on the lighter end for the nest candles than what I would probably prefer from them. But all in all, it was a nice like tree scent. It was enjoyable, just not one that I would want to hoard. Um, a cranberry woods that lived its life in my crock in my bedroom. This one was, this was an oldie, 2014. Wow, yeah, see, I just, I needed to finish it up. It had burned a little bit. 2014 was so long. <laughs> Sorry, I and then let's end it with one of my all-time favorites from Homeworks besides uh, Season's Greetings, and that is Berry Pumpkin Waffles. And this is um, 
it is delicious. It smells like Captain Crunch berry cereal. Um, but this is that like hobnail design that I was talking about. Very pretty, but um, yeah, I, th I think that this is definitely my favorite style of jar from him. But you guys, that's it. That is, that's everything. What an enormous amount of candles. I mean, this is insane. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> And I'm actually looking at my empties. I can't believe I'm going to like tell you guys this, but I have my empties still sitting over here from uh, November to, to clean up and put in recycling. There's so many. There's way too many. But I'm going to do it because January is my month for a fresh start. All right, you guys, that's the very last Home Fragrance empties of 2020. This series will be continuing next year, so we'll do it at the end of each month and see how much we can get through. I will do an updated candle collection after the winter um, so that we can kind of see one year from when I did the last video where I'm at with the collection. Um, gives me a few more months to finish up a few things. And yeah, here's to uh, not overdoing it this year. That's kind of my goal with all things. So have a great rest of your day. If you're interested in my beauty empties, uh, those are coming up tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and please subscribe if you're new.